Here's another update on the Pacific Handy hand cycle. I've done a little bit of work over the last few days. Uh, most of that involving getting the Beifang 750 watt motor stuff mounted and wired. There's the battery pack. 20 amp, 48 volt. I think it's 48 volts. Uh, did a little wiring. It's all on the other side. I also installed a, an aluminum seat pan and a wheelchair seat cushion. Just finished that job actually just minutes ago. That's going to be a lot more stable than that little tiny tiny seat that I barely fit on. Um, if it causes a clearance issue with transferring on and off I can loosen those four bolts right there and slide the seat backwards slightly and then readjust. Um, this is the little plastic lock I'm using to lock the handbrake when I'm doing a transfer. It looks pretty cheesy but turns out it works really well. Uh, I've got the motor mounted. I did run this yesterday. Took a couple of laps around this parking area but I discovered quickly that my brakes aren't working. You squeeze as hard as you can on the grip and you're just not getting anything. Had a neighbor try, he had the same problem. And I think it's because I've got too many kinks in the brake cable. So I'm gonna undo all of that and reroute and try again. And because the brake cable's really old, I'm also going to replace it. Uh, depending on what the housing looks like, I'll replace that as well. Uh, I had to go with a 42 inch chain ring didn't have any choice sorry about the quality it is here but the sun's getting ready to go down uh, I needed more offset than I could get otherwise I found this chain ring with an 18 and a half millimeter offset and that really did a number on getting that chain to line up with a sprocket down there on the drive hub I think that may be off a little but I'm not going to sweat it. That is so close. I don't think I'm going to get it any closer. I, uh, I wasn't happy with the tolerances. They were a little snug on this. I had a heck of a time getting all five of the bolts in and mounted. It, I did get it, but it was a lot of effort. Uh, it seems plenty strong, though, and I see that it works. I installed two new chains. This is two chains together. I... Uh, took a couple of tries to get the right number of links. I was a little long on the first try. So I took two links out. And then use this. Let's see if I can get a shot of it. I can't even see my own. There we go. That's a uh, chain tensioner basically. Loosen a set bolt there. And you can put it, pull it forward or push it forward, pull it back. Anyway, it goes in and out. So I loosened it so that it had no effect on the chain put the chain back together and then tapped it into place and tightened the set screw down the set bolt. And that's given me what I think is reasonable tension on the chain. Got a little bit of slack and maybe the chain will stretch a bit and uh, make a change there. I added a water bottle holder. I don't know if I mentioned this or not in my last video. To help with shifting, it was easier for me to hang on to. Uh, but I also discovered that while I was working, I got the housing hooked up on something and just ripped it. Well, ripped it up pretty good. So I'm gonna have to replace that housing. We got new housing coming this weekend. So I'll replace it then. And also, I think this is suffering from too many kinks because that comes. Well, let's see if I can get it back around here. I know the. Oh, the sun shining into the lens isn't helping any. So I've got it coming in here, and then all these other Beifang cables are wrapped around it, and it's got nowhere to go. I mean, both of these cables are just really snugged up against the motor. They're snugged up really heavily right down here. There we go. Right down there, they're snugged up pretty bad. So I'm going to undo all of this, replace the housings, the cables and uh, start over on getting the wiring organized so that everything works without bunching everything together. I'm still going to get stuck with two cables on this side. I don't have any way around that. I've got to have the brake sensor cable 
and the throttle, which I would rather have on the other side, but there's just no room to put the throttle on the other side. So overall, I'd say we've got quite a success going. Uh, like I said, I did ride it. It does work. I did buy a programming cable, though. I'm going to uh, change the uh, the drive mode from uh, the throttle mode from current to uh, speed. I think it'll work better because right now when you start pedaling, this thing immediately leaps to 10 miles an hour when you've got it in assist mode one. And because the brakes aren't working, I didn't really try anything else. But that's where we sit right now. I know the back of the seat looks a little small. I uh, can't see. Oh, there we go. The back of the seat looks a little small, and it is a little small. But it doesn't bother me. I'm not concerned with it. It gives support. I'm not going to fall out of it. And I do have my seat belt, which I have been using. So yeah, I think overall, we're doing alright. 